The absolute last thing I thought I would say is I'm a YouTuber. In the last video, I promised to tell you why it was so important for us to come to Dallas before we headed out on our 11 state, 7,000 mile trip. I'm one of the lucky few who've had a passion in life. I was a teacher for 30 years and I loved teaching and I loved my kids. And one day it stopped. My body shut down. You see, I've struggled with my health for really over 30 years. A lot of the issues that I had, they could give names to, but they really couldn't tell you why these things were happening. They couldn't tell you the cause. Fibromyalgia isn't a disease, it's a syndrome. It is a collection of symptoms that are all related. In some cases, these syndromes are accompanied by sensitivities to toxins. Things like perfumes, petroleum products, plastics, pesticides. A person with MCS kind of come, becomes like a canary. They're the ones who can identify the toxins in the room, kind of like a canary in a mine. Everyday things that you don't think about, somebody like me can identify toxins within them. Did you know that your grocery bags have scent in them, synthetic fragrances that are toxic? Do you know that Amazon packages have scents in them, sometimes even toilet paper? All of these things can give me a reaction if I am on overload. About a little over a year ago, my symptoms went from moderate to severe and I couldn't handle anything. We had moved into a new house and the off-gassing from our new house was making me sick and I was forced to become very isolated. When I didn't get any better, um, I called a doctor who herself suffered from MCS, multiple chemical sensitivity because I know that doctors often don't understand this and the people who are the most motivated are the people who suffer from it themselves. And what she told me is that I needed to go to an environmental specialist. She gave me names of five people who were the closest to me. None of them were within about a thousand miles of me. So they were all pretty far away, but they were experts in their field. And sometimes you just need to go to the experts. It was the best advice I've gotten in a really long time. So I called Dr. Johnson, who's in Richardson, Texas, and um, asked him to help. And he said, yes, you need to come to Texas. I told him what was going on. And so we did. Uh, prior to going, he sent a couple of tests um, to me and asked me to um, go ahead and complete those tests so he'd have some information once I got there. And when I walked in the office, uh, the first thing I remember is that the uh, assistant to Dr. Johnson said, you hit the jackpot. And what she meant was that the mold toxicity test that I had taken um, showed that I was high in all five categories of mold. So Dr. Johnson started me on hyperbaric oxygen therapy uh, right away. And uh, he also did several tests to really identify exactly what was going on with me, what all my problems were. Um, he did some allergy testing that I um, have done before, but not to the extent and not with the expertise that he does it with. And um, I learned a lot and found out a lot of things that were making me sick. So I realized, um, not at the time that I first came to see him, but I realized later that Dr. Johnson's an expert in mold toxicity. I was also really fascinated with the work that he was doing with children, uh, being a past teacher and working with kids with ADHD and autism. Hyperbaric oxygen treatment at this level involves receiving 100% oxygen in a pressurized state. You may be familiar with it from um, its initial use, which was with um, scuba divers who um, surfaced too quickly and got the bends. It has since been um, studied and is very successful in not only detoxification, like in my case, but um, it activates your body's natural healing 
and um, they use it with a lot of different um, patients, a lot of different problems. So they take a lot of precautions and they are experts in this. I was told to look at this um, as if it was peeling off layers of an onion. It would take some time. Uh, with some people, it doesn't take much time at all to detox from mold. But for me, it's taking a little longer. Uh, my body is still stabilizing. And so I'm here for three weeks getting more hyperbaric oxygen. You may know somebody who has problems with head traumas or um, children with ADHD or autism or stroke, or there's all kinds of things that Dr. Johnson and his team address and um, are experts in. And if you do, uh, please share this video. This can be something that could actually be life-changing. Uh, Dr. Johnson's team doesn't let pharmaceutical companies or insurance companies hinder his practice of medicine. Um, it can be challenging because we have learned to depend on those things so heavily, but it really truly is a place where medicine is really practiced and in a way that is very helpful to people. Our switching gears was prompted by the need to find a new passion. I was no longer to be able to be a teacher. I'm not bitter about that. I am sad, but I'm not bitter. Um, but I do have an opportunity to find something that I can still be passionate about. And I do love travel. And having a job like this may allow me uh, to record some great memories, um, to hopefully earn an income doing that. So my retirement plans have changed since I'm not teaching anymore and I need to have an income. So if the videos have been helpful to you, if it's something that you've enjoyed, please like, subscribe and share them. I wanna say thank you to Johnson Medical Associates for all of the help that they've given me for being kind people. I appreciate being in the office. It's a safe chemical environment for me to be in. I've also appreciated um, getting to know others who are experiencing some of the same things that I'm experiencing. Uh, it's always good to have a bit of a support group that way. And so I really enjoyed my, my time here. Join us next week as we show you around Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm.